for joining me, Caro, your health coach, on our other episode. It is always a pleasure to be here, to learn with you, and so that we can learn how to get healthy and stay healthy as we rejuvenate nature's beam. Today's topic is an interesting one, a bit controversial. Some of us don't want to talk about it. Some of us want to talk about it, but we have so many myths that relate to it. This is a platform where we zoom in on Carol, your health coach notebook. And on our notebook, we say it as it is, we use layman's language, and we understand things as they are. So today, we are talking about her libido, your libido, my libido, the sex drive. What is this sex drive that we keep talking about? That do women have this, do women have libido? Sex drive is something that is biological for both men and women. And so we are open to discussing it. We are open to understanding what this is. So it is the biological stimulation. Whenever you feel stimulated to have sexual desires, erotic thoughts, you know, daydreaming, all these fantasies that you have, that is when we are saying that your libido is active or your sex drive is active. So when we are talking about my libido is low, my sex drive is low, I don't feel like doing it. I don't appreciate, I don't accept it, I don't think it is right. We are saying that I am not stimulated. And even if I'm stimulated, maybe I'm not able to tell my partner what is happening, what I like, how I like it, how to do it, um, what makes me happy and all these things because maybe we are shy. Your sex drive is actually dictated by your hormones. Because remember, every month your hormones behave differently. The time of ovulation, you naturally, most women, most women will experience the stimulation. Maybe they will never be conscious about it, but during ovulation, your sexual stimulation is very high. That is around that time of the month when your skin is glowing, you're feeling sexy. Uh, your sex drive is also dependent on your nervous system your nerves are they for you to feel for you to feel you would want to have sex your nerves must be able to communicate to the brain to the body and then you will have the stimulation okay so it does not have anything to do with your fertility but because of how we are created there are times of the month when you're fertile and you're naturally stimulated. You don't have, you don't need uh, extra stimulation. Then there are times of the month that you need an extra stimulation. So the first thing we note is that there's a difference between having high or low sex drive. And remember, low sex drive is actually a condition. It is a problem that is diagnosed by doctors. It has a name, it is hypoactive, sexual hypoactive sexual dysfunction yes hdss it is a condition that is there that mostly we experience you you experience this as time goes by as you're aging as you are getting out of the reproductive the productive the reproductive age then there are things that happen in between because remember for a woman a woman needs two things for her to be well stimulated sexually. The physical aspect and the mental aspect. If her physical is not together with the mental, she will not be able to, to be stimulated. And that is why most women will find it difficult to have sex anytime, any day, anyway. Just like a man, you know, men are stimulated differently. And then we will have a, an episode to talk about the men libido. But for a woman, you need your physical environment. By physical, I mean, how are you feeling your body? How is the environment? Um, unfortunately, because of how we've been created, a woman will not sex, have sex just about anywhere. 
And when they do, they need some level of high adrenaline. They must be very adventurous. And uh, it's just how we are created. We are not like men. So we, women, we have been created in that way. So for a woman, she's very conscious. We must be very conscious about the physical environment. How even you will be surprised that even the lighting in the area that you're having sex matters. Even how you prepared long before this, it matters. So what are some of the things that contribute to you having low sex drive? Because high sex drive is not a problem. I think I, I, I wouldn't have a problem if it was always high, would you? I don't know. But be having it low, I know so many people who come to me and tell me, Carol, I, I don't feel like I ever want sex with my partner. I feel I'm always, I'm having and experiencing vaginal um, dryness every time I'm trying to have sex. It's painful. It's, I, I feel disgusted after sex or before sex or during sex and I don't want it. Yet my partner maybe needs it. So for this woman, for this person who is really struggling, is the person now to, we are talking about here today. What are some of the contributing factors of this low sex drive. One, we've said that for us, whenever you're stressed, life is not as usual. You will definitely experience um, sexual dryness. You will not have a high libido when you are under any stress. For a woman, we are created in the most beautiful way. We connect. If you're not able to connect with your partner, then it will not be pleasurable to have sex it will not be so when your mental state is not proper when your emotional state you are not able to connect then you'll not be able to do it number three if you are not able to connect with yourself if you feel unattractive you feel if you feel unappreciated it is very difficult for you to have high sex drive that is why you need to cultivate it from within. It must come from within. So if you've done all these three, you have talked to the mind, you have prepared the heart, but the body is still refusing. What are some of the things that you can be able to do? First of all, we need and we keep talking about having good high immune system. Your immune system is the one that helps you decide it helps your body decide what should be done. It helps your body with the blood flow. Because remember, when you're talking about sex drive, when you're talking about the libido, it is all about the blood flow. Where is the blood flowing towards? It needs to flow towards your clitoris. It needs to flow towards your vaginal area so that the muscles can relax and you can be able to enjoy and you can be able to have uh, this, the, the pleasure. So if you're not able to do this, you've talked to the mind, the mind may be stable, you have communicated within you and you are telling yourself, Carol, you have to do this. We are able to, we are going to enjoy this. And maybe you've even talked to your partner, but your body is still not obeying. So what do you do? Especially for a woman maybe who is going through menopause, because some of these, some of these things, um, they are caused by natural things that we cannot change, like menopause. Like just immediately after giving birth, you don't expect a woman to, her body to behave the same way. Uh, if a woman is under medication, there are some kind of medications that are able to, you know, just low, lower the sex drive. So if your body is not feeling it, if your body is not behaving the way you want it, what are some of the things that you can be able to do? I'll mention them in passing because I would also want to invite you to our Zoom session every Friday at 8 p.m. where we are able to discuss this further be able to give as much information as possible. I'll be able to give you as much information as possible. So we will always be uploading here on YouTube and also on our social media um, channels, all the details on how to log in onto the Zoom, which is a longer version of this discussion. So some of the things that you can do to help your body be able to have a an improved libido, improved sex drive, is 
your diet you can check on your diet if you are forever feeding your body with processed foods processed fats processed sugars processed salts then it means you are interfering with your body systems so whenever you really want to excite your body to help the blood flow you can incidentally you can even do fasting when you fast you allow your body to be able the digestive system to just clear the system you can say i want to do plenty of water because water helps remember your discharge is 90% water the vaginal discharge so if you're not if you're dehydrated your vagina will, will also be dehydrated your skin will be dehydrated you will not be glowing you will not be your vagina will not be happy so to maintain that you also you need to to watch your diet and keep drinking water keep drinking water then for the, someone who said i have been taking the right diet i've been drinking amount of water but still there is this delay i'll tell you a secret have you ever thought why during valentines you're given if you're lucky that is <laughs> you're given chocolate and rose flowers most people tell me that they think chocolate is a sign of love which could be it could be but the what chocolate does for you it helps improve the estrogen levels and it gives you a high feeling a good happy feeling and then when you have that high feeling you get the stimulation the rose flowers they were they were meant to help you relax whoever came up with those two they were i'm sure there were so many other gifts that would have been chosen but every now and then and i know even our men when they're giving us these gifts they have no idea what they're doing but whenever you you see a rose flower first of all the rose flowers are, are they were created with different colors red pink white yellow just so that whenever you look at it you feel relaxed and you release the dopamine hormone dopamine hormone is the happy hormone when you're happy and of course when you feel appreciated because this gift is given by someone who appreciates you you release another hormone called oxytocin oxytocin is the love hormone the love hormone is the one that makes you happy it makes you glow it makes you blush it makes you want feel like feel girlish okay so when you release those two the estrogen level is balanced by the chocolate then you will be easily stimulated when the estrogen levels are good when your nervous system is when you're relaxed of course your blood pressure is low your nervous system is low and then you relax and then you're able to be easily stimulated so the next time someone gives you chocolate and flowers just know that these are meant to help you relax these are meant to help you uh, your nervous system open up and they are meant to just help you release the happy hormones uh, we have also quite a number of Aphrodi we call them aphrodisiac fruits the strawberries the grapes i'm sure you have seen them and i know when we talk on zoom you will be able to learn more about what is the effect of the aphrodisiac fruits so these are some of the things that you can be able to do in your house something else maybe of course um you most of us are working rather um, almost all of us are working these days previously women were just in the house being housewives and all these things but today we are working we are busy we are our minds are over exhausted by the time we are getting home you can give yourself a foot bath just before and in preparation of what is coming you encourage your body by giving a foot bath that foot bath it, you can only you, you can use maybe rosemary rosemary leaves are known to help your muscles relax and your nervous system and relieve all the pains essential oils you can use any essential oil lavender helps you relax uh, peppermint takes away all the muscle aches rosemary will help you calm down so you can encourage yourself to be doing foot bath if you have a bathtub if you're lucky to have a bathtub you can also do salt bath in in your uh, in your bathtub you can just relax like what i'm saying is cultivate a culture cultivate a moment of just relaxing because if you do not relax your libido will always be low and for a woman unlike men for us we have to consciously purposely 
choose it and accept it and want it and be there and feel it. If we don't, then sex will be the most disgusting thing that we can ever have. I would love to have this conversation further and I would want to invite you to join me every Friday so that we can have a Zoom session. It is free. You just get the login details from our Facebook account and also from our YouTube channel. It will be down here. Remember to subscribe so that you can know the next topic we are going to discuss.